Hey everybody, welcome to the Swamp and Stomp YouTube channel and thank you guys for joining us for the first harvest episode of the 2023 season. We're super excited about this season. We have all kinds of really cool plans and we can't wait to see what's in store for us. First of all, I want to thank all of our Patreon members. These are people that are basically supporting our channel with their own hard-earned money um, and we really appreciate everything that they do for us. To be honest, this hunt that you're about to watch um, was something that I did for myself to go on this really cool opportunity um, that one of our Patreon members just so happened to, um, you know, to draw this permit. Uh, but the way things turned out, Ronnie, the Patreon, is now going to have this video to look back on for the rest of his life. So I'm really happy that I can make that happen for him. Again, just wanted to thank all the Patreons. We really appreciate the support that you guys give us. Make sure that you're subscribed. You know, go check out any of our other medias. You can check out some of our camo, um, our podcast. These are all ways that you can support the channel or even as simple as letting our sponsors know that you watch these videos by using some of the coupon codes that are down in the description. They'll save you a little bit of money as well. This particular hunt that we went on has only been available to the hunting community for a few years. And the reason for it is because there's a number of individuals in our hunting community that spend more time fighting for our right to be able to hunt in these really unique places than they actually do hunting themselves despite the fact that they love hunting just as much as we do. And so I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody that was involved. There's a number of organizations that are constantly talking to our managers here in Florida to make opportunities like this a possibility. So um, I work together with backcountry hunters and anglers myself, but there's more than that. We also have Mike Elfenbein of the Cypress chapter of the Isaac Walton League. Um, and we also have Bishop Wright of the Florida Sportsmen's Conservation Association. These are people that have been working together with our government, with our managers to make these things happen. And then I also, the last one, I wanna give a special thank you to the uh, US Fish and Wildlife Service that manage some of these uh, national wildlife refuges that are making it possible for us to go out there um, and take advantage of the resources that they have. I just want everybody that's been involved in making these opportunities a reality to know that we as the hunting community absolutely appreciate all the hard work that they're putting into it. And without further ado, let's get into this hunt. A big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. What's up guys? We are out here at a pretty special place. One of our Patreon members, Ronnie, who's right here, he, um, he actually was lucky enough to pull this probably a once in a lifetime permit here in Florida. And uh, there's literally only been like a handful of people that have hunted it. So uh, I came out just to film him and Yesterday he had a pretty close call. He had a big buck come in to 60 yards and then skirt around him at 30 behind some thick stuff. So hoping today he does something a little bit different. I'm gonna be in the tree behind him and um, filming everything that happens. Let's see what goes down. What the? F <laughs> Why would you do that? They lost a cord. Does it by itself? I'm gone. So 
second day of the hunt. It's Saturday. This is Ronnie's hunt. I'm not hunting. I'm just here to throw. But, um, we haven't seen anything yet. Except for two really angry squirrels. But, um, it's still early. It's like not even 8 o'clock yet. Ronnie saw five does yesterday and a really big buck. But the buck went the wrong way. So, hopefully he decides to walk around on our side of things so that we can get a good shot at him. I am basically falling asleep and I need to talk just to stay awake. Oh. 
Yeah, baby. Smoked him. Smoked him, dude. It's a little high, but you smoked him. Dude. He just smoked. Did he just go down? Did you see him? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. That's a freaking giant, dude. That's... He's down, baby. He's right there. He's right there. He's down. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Yes. You see all the... Yes. I was looking for him in the camera. I'm like, I don't see where, I'm like, he sh I can see him right there. Like, why can't I see him? I'm like, where is he? And then, and then all of a sudden I see his antlers suddenly appear on one side of the tree. And I was like, oh, I'm looking at the wrong tree. Like he's right there. I was like, holy shit, he's coming right now. Like, that was sick, man. That was Dude, filming him is just as much fun as fucking killing him, man. Like, it's so cool. I love this shit. We need to go look at the blood. But I have a feeling that didn't sound like a deer moving easily. That might have been his last stumble until he fell. Alright, so he was like somewhere around here, right? I think he was on, he was walking the middle of the trail, I think. So, oh no, he would have been past here. He would have been standing here when you shot. Yeah, something like right here. It, it, you used, uh, I mean, there's got to be blood here somewhere, but. He's where he cut the arrow. I saw it fall right here. Where's the, where's the arrow? That's what I'm looking for. Where's the arrow? Okay, so you got him, you got him pretty far. Just buried all the way to the fletchings, looks like, or at least, I mean, you po you poked a hole out the other side. Yeah, it went through. What? It went through. There's blood over here. I don't think so. I think I just might have leaked. What? Try not to touch too much. We need to find some blood. Like I mean, like, a part of me is like, let's find blood, but then the other part of me is like, we heard him over there. So like... Do you want to go look over there? Then look I kind of do. What I don't want to do is just like, tromp around here in case we need to get a dog, you know? Like, I don't just want to walk back and forth. Like, let's just go to where we know he was. There's a trail right here. happens man it's part of the game let's um go back to our shit and then uh uh i'll i'll call a couple people that have dogs around here see if we can get a good dog all right guys so uh we can't find this buck so we uh just called a dog we've got a really experienced tracker coming out and uh we're backing out. I hope we didn't mess it up too much because we did track a little bit. Um, hopefully, hopefully the dog can get on the trail. I think we have a dead deer. We just need some help. Yep. So uh, this is this is our savior right here. This is Jet. What what was your name again? Perry Lawrence. Perry Lawrence. He's our tracker. What's up, puppy? We're gonna.
I'm about to head back in there and see if we can find this buck. Was you nervous, buddy? Shaking like a leaf, dude. I was nervous. I was just filming, man. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like I tell everybody: if you don't get nervous even seeing a doe come out on you, you don't need to be hunting. Excited, boy? Excited? So, I've tried to film these tracks before, but there's <clears throat> there's something so cool about watching a dog work, and it is near impossible for me to show you uh, in these videos. It's something you have to experience for yourself, but I'm gonna do my best to show this one. Last one I did was in the dark. So hopefully I can show you this, but it's so cool to see a dog just lock on and go like full focus. There's gonna be no Yeah, rest. once he smells it, he's gonna wanna go. Yeah. Yeah, water, yeah. 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 water. Yeah. yeah, you Good boy. Good boy, Jet. Want some more? Cypress tree right there is about where we shot it. Okay. That's where he went in. And that's where we found some blood too. All right. Come on. Blood on that palmetto, but one here. the one that we just went under. Oh, find me. Find so me. it would have crossed here to the right at some point. Find yeah, that's find that's about where I figured it would have crossed. Find me. Woo! Yeah, that's the deep spot. Oh yeah, she's he's he's going the right he's way. Smelling. Find it. Yeah. Find it. Yeah, walk walk over the grass. Find it. Find it. It gets shallower on the other side here, so. All right, here we go. Here, you're around the tree. You got it? I got it, yep. Here you go. Oh, she's on it, she's on it. Find it, buddy. Find it. So as we go through, somebody walk slow in the back and look for blood. But not you. <laughs> I do it in it, Oh yeah, this is where we heard him crash the first time, was somewhere back in here. Oh, this might be where he first crashed, I think, somewhere back in here. Right. There's a really pronounced trail right here. Behind it. Yeah, I know. And this is about the right direction, so this is promising. There's an old rub right here. Oh, yeah, he's pulling. He's pulling. Can you try and hold him back just a tiny bit so I can catch up to you? Get some good footage. <clears throat> Watch out for these cypress knees, y'all. Don't get tripped up. Oh, there's a fresh ass rub right here. Thick and nasty in here. Take a little break, guys. Yep, take a breather. Take a break. You're on him. Take a break. No, I don't think so. It looks like it, but it's not. What's that? Thought I found blood, but it's not. He's making circles in here. 
that deer definitely laid down somewhere in here. Well, we heard him fall down somewhere. But I, I felt like it was a little further back that way, but you know how sound tricks you. Yeah. So it could have been back here. I don't know. Now he does a circle and looking. That's where deer bedded. Down. Yeah, it's usually like a air scenting. Right. Yeah. See, he's wanting to go now. Give me five more minutes, boy. Just relax. There you go. Good boy. Cool off. It ain't you I'm worried about, boy. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's no joke out here. It's hot as hell. Find the deer. So it wouldn't surprise me if it went back this way because we heard it. Right. Remember, we heard it over there. There's a rub right there. Where's he at? Find him. Where's the deer? Hey. Hey. What? He's right there. No He's right there. You see him? He's right there. He's right there, is dude. Is he dead? Is he dead? He is done, Let dude. Let the dog, Let the dog go. He is Come done. On. He's, He's right, right there, he dude. Just be wild. Come on. He's right there. There's a deer over here. Come on. He's go right there. I see him. Dude, he's huge. He's huge, man. He's huge. He's huge. He's huge. Oh my god, dude, that is a giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think he just got wore out. Oh my god, dude. I think Jake just got wore out. Just let let him let him do his thing. But Dude, that damn, is a that's a damn nice buck right that's here. That's a big buck, man. Oh my god. Hey, y'all don't mind? Can we sit here for about 15 no, minutes? Brother, yeah, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna do a whole photo shoot and everything. Uh, how far do you think you ran, man? That trail we did was maybe 100, 120 yards. Right yeah, I mean, we are literally. This is where we heard. Remember I, when I said when I heard him stumbling? I was like, I think that's where he just fell down, and that was it. And that was it. Like we literally we stopped right there. We, we got to like 30 yards over there and oh, we man. heard him over here. So we went, basically walked straight in to see if we could see him and we couldn't. And we were literally right there, right? Like 30, 20, 30 yards right there. I don't and we, think he's been dead long, though, man. He don't look like it's real stiff. Can I touch him? Yeah, go ahead, get him on this one. Oh, he's stiff as a board. He's stiff. He's been dead for a little bit. Is oh my God, dude. Him? Put hands on him. Is the arrow still in him? Yeah, it should be. Here, turn him around. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. It's a hell of a buck. Hey bud, y'all broke my streaks, man. First one dude, I look found. at that. Right. He's been, look at his ear. He's been fighting, man. Yeah, he's split You're up. Right, dude, that's an old buck, man. That's an old buck. That is insane. That is freaking awesome. How you feeling right now? I'm proud, bro. See, I told you he had a fat neck. Yeah, that's a big buck, man. That's your first buck with a bow. Yeah. On the paper, assistant. Yeah, and he's <laughs> yeah, the other man. hunter. Good. I'm the cameraman. I didn't, I'm just the tracker, bud. I didn't <laughs> come here. I didn't come here to do work. I came here to make sure we got okay. good footage. Can you at least take my bow? No, we try. Okay, fine. Come on, bud. Hey, you probably shouldn't have worn those slides now. <laughs> Since you came so unprepared with those shoes, you can be camera. No, no, I'll drag them. That's my deer. I gotta, I gotta drag them. <laughs> All right, well, like let's, it or not, let's, I gotta drag let's go. Them. How you doing back there, Perry? How's Jet? You guys put in the work, man. You made it happen. Two opportunities with this deer, yesterday and then today. But today he gave me the opportunity. I can't believe we didn't get any blood with a hole on the other side, man. That's crazy. You good? Anybody got Gatorade or water or something? I got Pedia. I got a tea light or something in my back. Do you have Gatorades, guys? I drank it. I only have water. I think in my bag I got Pedialyte. I always find the edge of the sternum right here. So you want to look down? 
You just, but just be careful you don't puncture those guts. All right, so this is where the arrow, so on the, uh, the lung on the side that the arrow went in, he just nicked across the top of the lung right here. And it came across and it got the top of that front lobe right here. That's, that's all that, that's pretty much the whole bit of lung that he got, which is why it took him so long to die. Yeah, just like that. Does that look good to you guys? Yeah. And then you just walk. <laughs> Way to go, Jet. Everybody's still alive. <laughs>